This is how the walls look on the inside. The piers are pushed into the walls, leaving space that is open, unified, and evenly lit. However, Sinan could not treat the fourth side in this way. This side had the entrance and the facade, and he wouldn't have wanted to destroy its symmetry with buttresses. His solution was to make the fourth wall thicker than the others, but to mask this extra thickness with a gallery, creating a space for women. He also added a series of small domes in the new space he had created. The interior of the mosque is filled with light. In part, this is due to the large number of windows which are used in the building. But it's also a factor of the architecture itself, the structure. The structure is simplified. This allows more of the light to penetrate into the interior. Sinan's interest in light extends from the large scale, from the architecture to the small scale, to the use of decorative details. He used tile work, the finest quality Iznik tiles, throughout the building and in important places, such as we see here in the tiles which are used around the mirab. The white background of the Iznik tiles allows the vibrant colors of the flowers to stand out in even greater relief. The clear glaze which covers the tiles allows light to be reflected back into the room. In using light in this way, Sinan is creating something new within his architectural and cultural tradition a tradition whose origins were not exclusively Islamic. Mm -hmm.